Yeah, to operate the out of the out of pocket cost to operate the Volt, uh, electrical energy out of the grid, dollars in your electric right. bill versus uh, gasoline pump bill, if you will. We've got the Volt at about two cents a mile, based on a ten to eleven cents per kilowatt hour, mm -hmm. and a regular thirty mile per gallon car at about two fifty gallons, about eight cents to the gallon. Oh, so you're talking about four to one. Give or take, you know, you know, and gas prices change on a daily basis, so it's uh, hard course. to just kind of keep up with that kind of calculation, if you will. But, but certainly, it's uh, cheaper to operate a Volt off grid electricity than it is to buy gas at the pump. This is an electric, electrically driven vehicle, and it runs on a lithium-ion battery, and it's rechargeable through a 110 volt system throughout your house, which you run throughout your house, and it has two saddle or has one saddle tank to provide energy beyond the extension of your, the range of miles that you can go on the electrical part, portion of the vehicle. Theoretically, you can drive this vehicle only on electrical power. When you go beyond the mileage range of the vehicle after its charge, the gasoline or the, any fuel, we can use biomass fuel, we can use ethanol, and um, gasoline will kick in and power the generator, which will then recharge the battery while you're driving, and so you'll have an extended range. And this vehicle will be made from one of our architectures that we have currently. It'll be made off of that architecture, and it will have lightweight plastic materials on it to help with the weight and the fuel efficiency when you're, when you're powering using the, the vehicle's engine. It's primarily an electric vehicle with what we call an onboard range extender. Uh, effectively what that does is once you get past your 40 miles of electric range capability, full range capability, gas engine doesn't need to come on. Uh, if you need to, the gas engine will come on and keep you going by putting energy into the battery so that the battery can keep supplying energy to the electric motor. Right. So it doesn't have the limitations of the previous EV1, if you will. I believe that was one of your questions uh, with Nancy just, just a few seconds right. ago. Right. I was going to say, how does this change compared to the earlier vehicle? Yeah, the EV1, yeah. about 90 miles of electric range, then you pretty much had to stop and plug it in. With the uh, Chevy Volt, 40 miles, if it's not convenient to plug it in, just keep driving. Uh, we've got about 12 gallons of fuel on board, about 50 miles to the gallon, effectively, when it's keeping the battery somewhat charged. Uh, get your range about 600, 640 miles. That was one of the lessons learned from the EV1. Uh, most of the owners had to design their life around a charging event. Uh, this is a lot easier. Uh, 110 volt plug-in capability versus 220 on the EV1. Uh, about six hours to recharge it, I believe is about uh, eight to nine hours on the EV1. This is lithium ion, uh, latest technology on battery. Uh, we're still working on it, as you folks probably have heard over and over. Sure. Um, and uh, the EV1 originally was uh, lead acid. Very large, heavy battery large, pack heavy, bulky with batteries. not a lot yes. of energy. Yeah. Uh, the ener energy density on lithium ion is uh, significant. Uh, three, four to one, somewhere in there. Very good. Mr. Lutz has been on record that uh, we won some drivable vehicles in 2010. 2010. Uh, full production ramp up 2011. 2011. So 2011, we'll be able to go into the showroom and walk out with the bolt. Uh, that is, uh, you can quote Mr. Lutz on that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.